Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be making the little hut that you see in the clip, I guess. Yeah, so before we get started, be sure to like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to, and yeah. So this is my hamster bandit. Anyways, the hut that we're going to be making is made out of tissue paper, and I think it's a cheaper option than the ones you find in the stores and it works perfectly fine it can also be a boredom breaker of sorts because they can just chew it up as you can see he feels super comfortable in this and he likes to empty his cheek pouches luckily he only had very less in his cheek pouches and he only emptied out two sunflower seeds anyway let's get started to begin with we're going to be making a sturdy version you want to put in a i think two is to three ratio no one is to three ratio and make sure it and if you don't want to do that just make sure it becomes like regular school glue this is a safe glue for hamsters and works just like any other adhesive oh sorry so i ended up putting a lot more than you can see in this clip but for now, I just made this much because I didn't really know how much I was meant to make, and I decided I would start off little by little so that I knew that it would be fine. I did add a lot more off water off screen, but for now, this is just how much I decided to add. For this, you will also need I forgot to tell you that you need flour. Some optional stuff is flour, foil, uh, not foil, cling wrap, and yeah, that's it. Flour, cling wrap, that's optional. And some necessities are just tissue paper and water, which I think almost every household has. Tissue paper is, you can use any brand. I'm just using regular toilet paper that I got from like the dollar store. It's very cheap because you're not going to be using yourself and have the hamsters that they don't need like top-notch toilet paper and make sure it's unscented so this is basically the best unscented I could find and it's kind of organic if you get what I mean but yeah now you don't have to do this part but wrap it in cling film if you think that you won't be able to get it off easily I had a terrible terrible tough time trying to get the like after it dried trying to get the house off and it was so annoying i had to like go into the ruler and lift it up because apparently the cling film did not do its job i think i should just use fresh cling film um if you're wondering what cling film is it's actually cling wrap some people say cling film um i was confused. it's like plastic wrap yeah. saran wrap oh my god saran wrap it's, yeah, the, there's like so many different names for it. People usually just call it cling wrap. Also, a quick shout out to Liz's brother who helped her out with filming. The filming is yeah. spot on. Usually, I find it really hard to edit because sometimes when because like I'm trying to go one hand, which is really inconvenient. Because anyways, yeah. I suggest you put the flour mixture on the um on the cling foam before you you like put the tissue paper on and not like put tissue paper in the mixture and then take it out and wrap it because that just gave me so many problems. I was struggling with it. Now you can watch me make this while I give you guys an announcement. Phoebe, take it away. So if you guys haven't been keeping up with some of our latest videos, which is totally fine, we have mentioned that we do have a podcast. Links in the description. It's called All Things Animals. By the name, you can tell it's about animals. Our first season is hamsters, and we're halfway through, and it's it's really exciting because we're really happy about it. And yeah, so go check it out. Um, we do a lot of different fun stuff on there. We talk mostly about animals, but currently we're in season one, finishing season one off, and you know, getting everything out. Season one is all about hamsters, which is so amazing. Yes. 
And if you're yeah. if you're coming to if you're coming from the podcast because you found our YouTube channel through our podcast, hi y'all! Thank you all for coming. Um, we really appreciate yeah. it. All right. Now moving on to the much simpler version, but less sturdy version. For this. You're just going to need water and toilet paper. And a mold. Well, a mold is kind of not optional. You can, if you want, you can just make one out of foil. Works perfectly fine. And, yeah. Here I'm just using this ice cream bowl that I thought would be a very, very cute shape. So, to start off, I began... Okay, so I'm sorry, but I think the filming was a bit off when we did this. Like, I'm all the way to that side. I'm... I promise you it will get better. Anyways, so what you want to start off by doing is wet the bowl and then wrap tissue paper around it. Do this again and again, depending on how long you want it to last. Right now, the first one I made, which is, it's lasted me about three weeks now, and it still hasn't like gotten completely demolished, and my hamster just loves sleeping in it. So you will see a clip at the end again. So stay tuned for that. I also decided that I was going to let it air dry, which is probably the worst idea I've had because it took like at least four or five days to air dry because I put so many layers. If you guys want to speed this process up, use a oven safe, oven safe mold and instead of cling wrap, just try to use, um, I forgot, I forgot what it's called. Foil, that works perfectly fine because it's just to not make it stick. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make textures. So I ended up making this look like a duckfish. I do not know what that is. I just thought it would be a fun name. When you're adding bumps onto this hideout, you want to make sure you scrunch up tissue paper, put it on, and not just leave it like that. You also want to make sure it is I dropped the tissue paper. Okay. Anyways, besides the point that I'm dropping it, <laughs> you also. Sorry, okay, sorry about that. That was like yeah. a question reminder. Um, continue. Yeah, so I just. You want to seal it in using your. Uh, like another tissue paper and a few other layers. So, as you can see, I finished making my bill. At the time, I did not know it was a bill, but. I decided it was going to be a bill, because why not? Wait, I don't think bill is the right word. Oh. Do I have a good counter of how many times I said that word? Anyways, <laughs> continuing. The other thing that I thought was going to be a fun idea is to make a little stair so he can go onto the top. Now, my hamster loves climbing on top, as you saw in the first clip. He loves to just climb on top and just sit there for hours and hours. Sometimes he just empties his cheek pouches there, which is so, so cute. Anyways, besides the point. Um, one reason we did want to make this video is because, um, as you can see, you can add your own little creativity to it. So if you want to add stairs or something like that, you can definitely do that and you're entirely capable. And it's not that hard of a craft either. Yeah, it's a very easy thing and I think a lot of people have tissue paper, a bowl, and a, a um, water in their house, obviously. So it's just this really, really fun craft that I thought would be fun to share with you guys. Personally, I think this is the best when you're on a budget and you want to try spending more on like bedding and food and um, other things that your hamster might need on our very very necessary not saying that hideouts are not necessary they're necessary but they can be so so expensive especially the cer ceramic ones and the very cute looking ones and i thought that it's this is fine yeah anyways if you guys want to paint this remember to use food dye and non-toxic dye anyways thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one um this, oh by the way this is storm i have two Monsters. Yeah, they're both um, in separate cages. They started fighting, which is very natural. It, it was probably my you, fault, but yeah. If you Thank like, you, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Next video. Um, if Bye. You like, wait. If you like um, content like this, like hamster content, be sure to check out our podcast. 
we do a ton more different stuff on there and currently we're in season one all things hamsters and we'll be sure to try and post some more hamster content if you guys like yeah. it so give it a like it just tells us also you... say if you want more diy stuff because that cabinet you see is not completely diy it was a cabinet that had different designs and i painted it so if you guys want to see more diy stuff just Tell us, and we'll make sure to get you out more. And Paige is also really into DIY, so she'd be down to do anything that you guys think would yeah. be capable. And be uh, be sure to check out all the playlists and stuff that are in the archive. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. Oh. Check out our podcast. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah, I also forgot to mention this is very light and easy to use for your hamster. Bye. Bye. See you in the next one. Oh.